Hi, welcome to another in-depth flute review where we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the flutes from my collection. Welcome today. And today we're going to be looking at a flute made by Dana Ross of Falcon Flutes over in Georgia. Dana is one of my favorite flute makers. I like what he does with the voicing of his flutes. Uh, just one of my top flute makers, I would have to say. This particular flute that we're looking at today is a bass B flat, third octave on a piano. This one is made from some beautiful Alaskan yellow cedar, and it has Spanish cedar for mouthpiece and part of the block. It looks like it has another piece of, uh, it's either yellow heart or Alaskan yellow cedar for the center of that kind of traditional design to block. And then it has his um, uh, normal cherry base on there. I'm not sure if that's going to show up very well. So the very bottom of the block is made of cherry wood. Ray's nest design and his are a two-piece routed design. The flue is in the flute body, nipple style mouthpiece. Some beautiful inlay work. ring of turquoise, and I'm not sure what is around that. It looks like it might be uh, Wenge, some kind of a real dark wood. I don't believe it's stone. I believe it's some kind of a dark wood. I think he uses Wenge, or Wenge, however you pronounce that. Some decorative rings, different places along the flute. Beautiful, beautiful flute. Down in the description box below this video, I will list dimensions, all of the little minutia for those that might be interested in how this flute has been designed and all of the technical details. That will be down in the description box below along with his contact information and everything. But let's get to the demo portion and sound portion on this. And we're going to start with a basic dry sound sample with no effects. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Ooh. So Dana Ross's flutes have slightly smaller bore diameters than some other makers use. The thing I like about that is that they aren't, especially in a deep, lower bass type flute, they aren't just strictly a mellow flute. They can be a little bit more responsive. They have some more of those higher harmonics that might be missing with a flute that has a larger bore. The larger the bore, same given key, some of those higher harmonics seem to vanish. So this one definitely has some of those higher harmonics. It can be a lively flute if you want it to be. Has a lot of that chirpiness to it if you so desire that type of thing, or don't use quite as much tonguing and you can get um, very, very mellow, soothing tones from it. Love the way his flutes play. Super responsive to the uh, player's input. This has very, very slightly offset finger holes on this lowest finger hole for a right hand down player. Um, the top set of holes, this finger hole is very, very slightly offset also, but not much. There is a wide spread on this, and that's one of the downfalls of having a little bit smaller bore size. It kind of lengthens the, the flute out a little bit, and it does make a stretch to reach those finger holes. Um, I will be doing a little comparison between this and another flute that I have, and... Uh, I'll show them side by side during that comparison. This one, a little bit more of a stretch, and I think it's mainly on these upper holes. Once you get used to it and kind of get your hands loosened up and stretched out to be able to do that, I don't have real long fingers. I don't. I'm just, I'm just used to moving them stretching them out. I've, I've kind of trained my fingers and muscles and ligaments and everything to be able to reach those things. So if I can do it, most other people can do it. I'm almost 70 years old and I am getting a little bit of stiffness just keep moving them, things like that. Anyway, let us now add some reverb and delay to the mix.
I love Dana's flutes. Uh, fairly simple design for some people. They are going to be a little bit of a stretch to get to those finger holes. He does have a fairly long, slow air chamber. So the distance from the mouthpiece to the true sound hole down here, a little bit longer than some flute makers would have for this design. Not all, but some would shorten this a little bit to make the reach to these finger holes easier because having it longer brings your hands out further away from your mouth. So if it was a little bit shorter, your, your hands and everything would come in a little bit closer to your body and make your wrists a little, a little straighter, not having to reach quite so far for that last hole, for example. But if you can get yourself used to that stretch and everything by working and, and, and working at covering those holes and reaching for those finger holes, wonderful flutes, wonderful flutes. And not just Dana's, other people make them like this also. Falcon Flutes by Dana Ross, one of my all-time favorite makers out of Georgia. He's not making quite as many flutes as he used to be. He is still making them, and sometimes you have to be a little bit patient uh, if you do place an order with him. But uh, this one I found, I don't remember if I found it used or if I found it, I, I might have found it directly from him and it may have been one that he had offered for sale. Um, it was probably made for somebody and they might have canceled the order or maybe the finger holes were a little bit too long and they returned it. That could be, who knows? I don't, I don't know the details, but I think I did buy this directly from Dana when he offered it for sale. Slight discount when he offered it for sale, um, but brand new flute and uh, I love the way this sounds. This was made in uh, 2020, I do believe. And uh, I've had it, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I got it in 2020. Might have been, might have been. Um, again, I'll put all the details down in the description box. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe. Click the little bell right down over there so that you can be notified the next time I post a video. Could be taking a closer look at one of my flutes. It could be looking at a flute that I just received or another instrument. Could be a tutorial on how to play the Native American style flute. One of the easiest melodical instruments in the world to learn how to play. It could be using the Native American style flute in a music video that I do, could be solo, could be with another flute or other types of instruments in traditional style, solo flute, mellow type thing, or a little bit more upbeat with much more modern type instruments uh, involved in that. Everything from mellow to moving music. I want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I also hope that you have a fabulous day. Please take care. See you later.